July 9th, 2017. Bridge City. It was our second night in PDX and spirits were at an all-time high. Topher and I watched in awe as an episode of Cops was filmed in front of us on location. This was the prime of voodoo. Every weekend, groups of upwards to 10 to 40 hippies would congregate here, shoot the news, torch bowls on 3rd Ave, spend the night terrorizing the tourists and stiffs, run pockets, and then make a killing while doing so. That's Elijah the Aries. Up there, that's soap. I work out with my newfound friends regularly. I finally felt that home even if I was surrounded by those society deemed unfit for service. I felt like I could be myself without fear or judgment. In fact, I could be anyone I wanted to be. This wasn't the portal I'd seen painted on TV by Fred and Carey that as far as surpassed any late night IFC honky tonk comedy. We smoked some more grass, had some beers while lying on the cool asphalt, and I glanced over to see the ginger ninja split his sides over the latest get fuzzy. The temperature is about 75 degrees with a slight warm breeze knocking in every once in a while. summer night in Portland. We bask in the moon glow as the gag heads make deals and trades at the Dialeride station. I was right where I was supposed to be, and it was all by a matter of chance. This was my kind of town. I remember feeling in this moment I definitely made the right choice. Whoa, he spotted me. As the night progresses, Kate and I decide to take it a show in an attempt to get a feel for the PDX music scene. This cookie cutter and commodified music scene, Portland was in a league of its own. I start to dance and take a nip off some pocket taka. And we head to Chinatown. The allure wears thin when I get to thinking about all the drugs and PDX. Dealers and waste oids targeting my newfound friends. I set off in the night in search of a new subject for this documentary and stumble upon the perfect star for this project. I approach this fellow and he's obviously fucked off in a bad way. But I ask politely, Excuse me, sir, do you mind if I shoot a video of you for my school project? The question falls into deaf ears as he continues to skis out, completely incoherent, completely ignoring my existence. I take up the position in the bushes directly in front of him. I thank him, mount the tripod, and take my shot. What I witnessed thereafter can only be described as a beautiful ballet between a completely twisted psyche and a society on the cusp of collapse. Good folks, 
We got a surprise visit from Logan and Serenity. And I spent the rest of the night cutting my cannon under the street lamps, street flash glow.